One of our Facebook posts today about a scary disease carried by deer got a large number of shares and comments. So tonight we want to tell you what we know about chronic wasting disease. It's been found in Virginia, Maryland and West Virginia, so you might want to learn more. And here's Scott Broom. Out here in the Maryland woods right now, it is deer season. And if you don't consume venison like I do, keep in mind that 20% of Americans consume wild harvested meat. Hundreds of thousands of pounds of lean, hormone-free, field-to-table meat is being harvested right now. And an article in USA Today about chronic wasting disease in deer has people talking. Here are some facts. Chronic wasting disease infects the brains and spinal tissues of deer and elk in the wild and has been found in 24 states. Biologists fear its spread might hurt deer populations, but it hasn't so far. There is no good evidence that chronic wasting disease has ever infected humans, but there is concern among scientists that it could because of its similarity to mad cow disease. Since vigilance began more than 10 years ago, Maryland has discovered 11 infected deer, Virginia has documented 22, and West Virginia has discovered 183. The cases have been confined to specific counties in the Blue Ridge, Panhandle, and Potomac Islands. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control recommends that deer taken from infected areas should be tested, but only Virginia offers testing. The states are all dealing with this by creating special management areas where there are restrictions on how deer can be hunted, handled, and transported. For instance, in western Maryland, parts of three counties are in a special management area, and butchers who process deer adhere to strict guidelines on handling meat, Every sanitation, night and the disposal of waste. Holsinger's meat near Hagerstown is one such certified state the butcher. Place. So far, I don't think it's a threat. You know, we've been educated on the disease and certain steps you know, and precautionary me measures. The key takeaway here is that there is no verified evidence that chronic wasting disease has ever transferred over to humans. But health and wildlife officials remain concerned about it because the disease in deer is spreading through the states. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Biologists have linked deer overpopulation to the spread of chronic wasting disease, and for that reason, they want to encourage more hunting while also educating sportsmen about the concerns.